Welcome back to another episode of Central Oregon Shenanigans, guys. So today, I've got a video laid out from about mm, uh, 10 or 11 months ago where we started the engine swap process on the 2002 Ford Expedition. We actually did film everything start to finish on the Expedition, guys. Um, today's classic is going to be basically the very first day we started working on the Expedition. We originally tended to pull the Triton 4.6 liter engine out, put another Triton 4.6 liter V8 back in to the Expedition. But after getting the engine out, I said I just said to myself, um, basically diesel swap. And it was just it was such a pain to get that V8 out. At the time, I thought it was going to be easier to put a diesel swap in the Expedition. I'm not going to say it was easy. The the four the four BT was a it was a there was hurdles after hurdles after hurdles. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not regretting anything. I love that little four BT expedition. So, with that being said, I'd like to thank Jimmy Johnson at Johnson's Garage for the editing at the time and letting us have all this footage back for our channel. <laughs> I'll link Jimmy at uh, Johnson's Garage in the description below. Go check him out. Subscribe if you like what you see. Also, guys, we'll be talking a little bit about Johnson Giraj coming up on the Saturday Night Update. Don't miss it. It's going to be epic. And we have a lot of your guys' rides you guys sent in. We have not forgot about you. It's been the holidays. It's been busy. Kyle and I have got... You've seen all the vehicles we have. It's been nuts over here. Um, there's not lack of content coming out, guys. Um, so, yes, yeah, Saturday Night Update tomorrow night. Don't miss it. Your rides will be on there. I think we're going to go ahead and catch up everybody's rides, so it's going to be a long one. So anyway, guys, let's get on to this video. Um, some of you have watched it. You might want to skip it. Hey, you might want to re-watch it. That'd be cool, too. And then there's a lot of you that haven't seen this video because you guys are new subscribers and new to the channel So, and new to Central Oregon Shenanigans. Um, yeah, so let's get to this classic Triton pull video. Somebody's wiring job. No, it was somebody else's fucking wiring job. I wired it correctly. Push it up again. No, I just, just pushed, just pushed it up. the freaking thing up again. That's too much. Ugh. We just started, it's day seven, now oh, we're behind and, and we haven't even got the vehicle. Like, I, fuck, I hate those shows, I can't watch them anymore. Um, that's so. That broke loose. Okay, I've got the drain, broke loose. Now I just gotta reach it gingerly and don't fucking break it this time like I did on Squeaks. Or, oh, oh or sorry guys. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is. Oh, it's got extended life in it, it's orange. Okay, drop that drain in and do a bucket. I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna get this vacuum harness in. I think what we should do is pull the whole intake. Okay, I think you have to anyway. Yeah, that'll, that'll give us a lot of room to pull the intake. Well, should we just, with this engine, say fuck it and try pulling it and see if it's even plausible? That'll save us a lot of time on the install. Yeah. I don't know. What do you do well, you, I don't want to fuck around trying to get it unfroze. Do you want to take I, pictures? It's, it's probably rock solid. Little fuck channel locks on her. There we go. Yeah, doing a big project. I've never, I've done a lot of engine swaps, but um, you know, mostly uh, carburation engines. I've done one fuel injection engine. It was in a Toyota. Those are. Cool. Enough. That's weird. I just got some. That's like goo inside that. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, so before we get any further with our engine swap, this is this is something that everybody needs to do when they do an engine swap. You want to get a socket on there, a breaker bar, and you want to make sure this turns all the way around. You're not on the. I, 
barely. Try it. I don't mind you slipping. Just slip it. Because it's going to come towards me. Oh. It's tightening the... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Yeah, I'm just going to break that nut. I'm just going to break that nut off. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. All right, tubers. We're back from the parts store. We had to rent the hub fan puller bullshit dealio. The same one we used in the Super Duty video. So like, you got like two different Super Duty. Ah, the water pump, gold. Yeah. Okay, so what what end do you want me to do? Sound like you're cool. So two seconds with the tool. Sorry, we weren't recording. Two seconds with the tool. So. Don't even try to pipe wrench anything. Just go rent the tool. If you have an O'Reilly's in town, it's 80 bucks for the hub, wrench, fan, assortment, bullshit. Two seconds, it's off. You don't fuck with it for an hour like we were pri prior to that and didn't get anywhere. Besides, I think I fucked a bolt up on that. But we have a spare, so it's good. Get the hell out of here, guys. Yay! Man. Yeah! Mmm, you can do it! All night long. We should be able to get the rat in there. Would I break? Nothing. Oh, it's just a, there's metal clips that kind of hold stuff together. Radiators out, guys. Progress report is uh, I've got 40% of the transmission bolts out. We're gonna need to put a jack under that. So it's yeah, I got the training jack, and uh, I'm gonna go oh, back. Yeah. I'm going back yeah. under. Sorry, keep going. Uh, I'm gonna go back under and do the starter right now. Um, there's a dust shield. We have to pull the engine. We tried to put the breaker, but I don't know. If, did you get that on video? What's on the breaker bar? No. This engine so seized. I put a. What was that? Three, four foot break. Three foot, at least three foot breaker bar. Yeah. I can't even get this engine to spin over um, at all. It's it's one solid unit. There's no cylinders and crank and just one blob of metal. Yeah. Uh, so. so why don't you just put some diesel fuel down this one? Nah. It's, so we're gonna have to pull the torque converter with the engine. Well, looks like he's got the intake bolts broke free up here. About ready to pull the intake manifold off. I get the spark plug. Up. I'm still working on the starter. <laughs> At least it's not a Mustang, that's all I'm saying. Still pretty, it's pretty fucked off up, you know, under there. Um, it's been about 30 minutes since the last time we had the camera on. Yeah. Yeah. And then we gotta come up with something to strap onto the engine with. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about that. I've got everything but two transmission bolts down below and the dust cover that's on the transmission because we're, like I said before, we're going to have to pull the whole torque converter with the motor. We can't get this thing to spin to get the bolts out, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, and I got to do um, engine mounts, but those are super simple. I should be down there working because I just remembered the exhaust I haven't touched yet. Um, Jimmy is working on the top side here, and it one looks, bolt one bolt on the intake manifold. We're pulling the intake manifold off. Um, I'm hoping, and he's hoping, that the um, gasket is Good. reusable. Otherwise, we've got to put a $60 intake manifold gasket on this. I smell fuel. He's got the fuel system cracked loose. Oh, yeah, no, it's... It's just everywhere. Now I gotta go back under and lay in that shit. So, Merry Christmas. so Jimmy's pulling out intake manifold. Jesus, look how big that fucker is. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull the, the new engines and take off. There's no way. Just having the clearance right there. It's like, you're, it's like you're delivering a baby. You know, what, you, know what, you know what's fan-fucking-tastic is right here? What? The bolts! Training bolts! Right? Yeah. Oh no, I'm climbing out. Okay. 
We'll be actually, we're probably about 30 minutes away from trying to pull the engine out, to be honest with you. Don't you think? After I get the exhaust and the mounts. Fucking A. That, that. <sighs> I might not do this for a living. Yep, that's why you have to pull the intake is to get to those transmission bolts. Now look, there's a coolant crossover pipe right there. Yep, for the EGR. It's for the EGR. Pretty yeah, sure. It's for one of the heater hoses in the back. Oh, okay. Fucking A. So, do you think we're going to need gaskets or do you think... Well, hey, there's some... There's a gasket that kind of went down there for the EGR. I'm going to need to say that your manifold gaskets... And these guys and the o-rings are still sticking out so they're a rubber o-ring system i thought it was raining i'm like you mother papa said he's gonna come down and talk to me about the bed yeah so i think these are still good that's what she said is there another extension by chance uh not in your bag well you go look and pop it i gotta have another extension this is ridiculous Pop this toolbox down over here by the engine stands in that red box very top. Ah, oh, Bob Saget. Where the fuck is the engine? This one right here? Yeah. Well, what you gotta oh. do is take the... And he's got his glasses in there, so he drops something and breaks them. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you? What? Did you put that bad juju on me? No. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? Uh. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going by braille. Can't hold the flashlight. Fucking. Yeah, I got it. There's one exhaust man full fucking cock sucking down. Alright, next. Tranny bolts. Mm. Oh yeah, good luck with that. Put these fucking brackets in your fucking way. Like they didn't make it hard enough. <laughs> oh, for the for the love of me. For the love of fuck. This whole engine bay, and they gotta shove that cocksucker 90% under the fucking cab. <laughs> <laughs> Weight balance, that's what it is. Yeah. It has seven more fucking cocksucker okay. goddamn bolts. You the fire watch. You're fine. Okay. Woo! Yeah, it's more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be manning this. That one guy that commented when I was cutting your cross brace off, he's like, that's kind of scary with all that hay in the background when we had, like, you know, all yeah. that right there. Like, yeah, it was good. We built a retaining wall. Yeah. That worked out good. Built a little wood wall right there. All the flags stayed right here. This is perfect stuff. Well, it's like a whoopee cushion now. My little asshole fits right down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Green. Green. <laughs>